Hello all, I am Dr. Pravas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about syntax related translation process. Okay. So here we will discuss some different types of uh, HTT related problems. Okay. Just see. Here in this question, consider the following HTT. Consider the following HTT. This is the given HTT. What is the value of E dot val? Means here val is the attribute. For the given expression, the expression is given 2 plus 3 star 4, okay? In the previous classes, we just construct the HTT, construct the HTT. But here, HTT is given, HTT is given, means context-free grammar is given, as well as semantic rules are given. One expression is given, one expression is 2 plus 3 star 4. So now we'll find the value of what E dot has, okay? First, we will construct the annotated past. First, we will construct the annotated past for the given input string. Okay, so see. E2 E plus T T star F F2 now T to F F2 now E to T E to F F2 now. Okay. Here val val is the attribute, so simply R val. Okay, simply our value. Now we'll assign the value. Just say, we'll assign two, then this is the three, then this is four. We'll assign two, three, four here. Just say, what is the value of a dot? Now we'll evaluate this node, f dot value equals to one. Just f2 num, f2 num production. What is the semantic roots? f dot value equals to num, means simply we'll assign this num value num in f dot val. Then simply we'll assign f dot val equals to 2 here. f dot val equals to 3 here. f dot val is 4 here. Right? See. Now we'll compute t dot val, t to f production. Just see. t to f production means what? t dot val. t dot val equals what? f dot val plus 1. So t dot val equals to f dot val. f dot val means 2 plus 1 means so t dot value equals to 3. Simply here, t dot value equals to f dot value plus 1 means t dot value equals to f dot value plus 1 means 3 plus 1 equals to 4. Okay. Now we'll find the value e dot value e to t e to t production the same. What is the semantic rules? e dot value equals to t dot value. So simply we'll assign t to here. Okay. Now we'll find t dot fell. What is the t dot fell? t to t star f. The see t to t star f is nothing but what? t dot fell equals to what? t dot fell plus f dot fell plus 2. Means 4 plus 4, 8 plus 2 means 10. Now we'll compute. Now we'll compute what e to e plus t. e to e plus t. What is the meaning of e to e plus t? e to e plus t. What is the semantic rules? The semantic rules are e dot val equals to what? e dot val star t dot val. Since e dot val equals to e dot val star t dot val means t into 10 equals to 30. So what is the value of e dot val? Value is 30. Okay. Similarly, we'll see one more example. Just say. Consider the following HTT. Consider the following HTT. This is the given HTT. Now we will find what is the value of e dot fair. The expression is given. The expression is given. First, we will construct the annotated past. We will construct the annotated past.
a to t then e ask t then e to t and t to f i'm just erasing this one then f to num right so similarly t to f here sorry t2 will use this product t ampersand f e to f f to num f to num t ampersand f e to f f to now then f to now okay so we'll assign the value but to here to ask c ampersand five ask six ampersand four okay so here val is the attribute val is an attribute so simply our val okay so this is the given annotated so this is the constructed annotated the pass string for the input string now we'll compute just see here f2 norm f2 norm production the semantic use f dot value equals to norm so simply we'll assign f dot value equals to norm means two here f dot value means c here f dot value means five here six here four here okay So t to f, the so t to f means t dot value equal to f dot value. So t dot value equal to f dot value means we'll assign two here, we'll assign three here, we'll assign six here. Then e to t, e to t means e dot value equal to t dot value, e dot value equal to t dot value. Simply we'll assign two here. Okay. Then we'll compute this one t dot value equal to T to T ampersand F, T to T ampersand F means what? T dot value equal to T dot value plus F dot value. So T dot value equal to C plus five means this is eight. So similarly, T dot value equal to six plus four equals to ten. This one. Okay. Now, E to E has T. E to E has T means what? E dot value equal to E dot value star. T dot value that means two into eight equals to sixty. Similarly, E dot value equal to E dot value into T dot value means sixteen into ten. This is one sixty. So this value is nothing but what one sixty. Okay. So in this way, if H T T and expression is given, in this way we can calculate the value of the root node. Okay. So in the next class we'll discuss some different types of examples. Okay, thanks for watching.